Hi friends! Happy day before launch day! I can't believe that it's finally here. Um, I have so enjoyed doing these Facebook lives with you every day and hopefully my twins are going to sleep while we do this. Um, today we are going to talk about what to do when you feel like your life is just completely overwhelming and you can't dig out and you feel like you don't know which way is up. Where do you go to like start fresh? Um, so we are going to walk through making what I call a simplicity plan. And if you've been receiving our countdown emails until tomorrow, um, you got one, I think it was yesterday, that had your simplicity plan printable in it. And um, what I want you to do is if you have it, get it out. You'll see that we have three quick little um, tidbits up there at the top to get you started. And I'm going to really awkwardly turn this so that you can totally see me. Hello. Okay. First of all, who is excited for tomorrow? My whole team is just excited that it's finally here <laughs> and that we can finally launch these things. Um, we have been working on these planners for almost a year. Um, it takes about nine months to birth a simplified planner and that's as long as it takes to birth a child. So we love these guys dearly. We, uh, we really hope that they bless your lives and help you to simplify and get back to what matters most. So I decided to do this particular um, Facebook Live because, well, I decided to do it today because um, I know what it feels like to be running around with your hair on fire and to feel like you don't know which way is up and you really don't know where to start. And I think a lot of people purchase products like planners because we're in that mode and we think like, oh, okay, like I'll buy this thing and it'll fix it all, right? Um, and it doesn't always work that way. And so this is me being totally transparent that if you buy a tool to fix your life, you, you have to have the heart change that goes around along with it in order to make those changes. So I am doing this today because I'm hoping that this will help you really start using your Simplified Planner, whether you have an academic that began August 1st or you're purchasing a calendar year edition that begins in January tomorrow when we launch them. Um, whichever one you're working with, I hope that this is encouraging for you if you ever um, are in in that place or if you ever get to that place where you're like, I just don't know what to do. Like, life is overwhelming. And I want to also say, there's a lot of life that we can't change, we can't control, right? We can't control traffic. It's always gonna be terrible. We can't control toddlers. We can't control the weather. Lord help us all. Um, we can't control so many exterior things. But what we can control are those mundane things that happen in our lives, like laundry, like meal planning, like how many things we're committed to. Um, you know, we can't necessarily control all of the appointments we have in our lives, but we can control some of the extra that, you know, tends to just pile up on top of all the other things that we have going on. So I hope that this, is, this one in particular is encouraging to anyone who feels like they just need a break, right? Um, okay, and I, if you have any questions, I can see your comments and I'm going to try to like make sure I don't miss any questions. So if you can do me a favor and hold them until the end, um, then we can, I can address them all at once and I won't miss any of them because the thing is scrolling so fast. Um, and Hannah's going to be here in here in just a second and she'll try to grab some questions too as they come up. And I see lots of my friends joining. So hi, it like tells me when my personal friends join on here. Um, Okay, so let me just start by saying, if you're new to these Facebook Lives, we've been doing them every single day since last Thursday. We've also been doing Instagram Lives every day at three. They're a little more casual. It's just me on my couch answering questions. Um, so thanks for joining in all of those. Tomorrow is Simplified Planner Launch Day. It is our fall launch. It's when we release our 2018 Simplified Planners. There are eight to choose from, and that does not include Dapper Desk, which is a different planner. Um, originally designed for men, but well loved by many women. Um, you can see this is on our website now, so if you had questions about Dapper Desk and want to see the inside, um, here's a peek, but you can go on our website right now and you can see it all. Um, if you hear banging, it's my twins not sleeping upstairs. Okay, so 
Simplify Planner is launched tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be on Facebook Live at 9.45, biting my nails and praying that it all goes smoothly. It should. We've done this a hundred times now, but every launch day, we just have all the nervous energy and so excited because we've been counting down and like excited about it forever. So now backing up to the topic, um, I just want like a show of proverbial hands. How many of you feel like you're in a place of your life, in your life where you have hit a brick wall? Where you're like, I don't even know which way is up. Like, I see all these beautiful organized pantries and things on Instagram, and like, I just don't even know how to get my kids fed every day. Um, if you're there, I just need like a hand up. Somebody tell me that you're, I'm not the only one that feels that way sometimes. Um, it's easy to feel stuck when you're in that situation, when things just feel a little out of control. And I've always said, I don't, I don't want to start with this example because I think that this is so true when it comes to simplifying anything. Imagine a closet, okay? If you've read Grace Not Perfection, my book, you know this already. But if you imagine a closet, okay? You have a closet of any size, small, large, whatever. And let's say that you have um, a lot of shoes, okay? And you want to organize the shoes. So you're like, okay, I need a really good shoe organizer, right? Like that sounds great. Let's go out and get the great shoe organizer and all of the, the labels and things we can do and we'll organize all my shoes, right? And that'll solve my problem. Okay, so we go and buy this expensive shoe organizer and we come in and we try to organize all of our shoes. And what do we have? We have still a mess, right? Because if you just go out and get the shoe organizer and you don't address the problem that you actually have 17 pairs of flip-flops, um, that then we're not addressing the problem. The problem isn't our lack of great organizational tool. A lot of times our problem is that we have 17 pairs of flip-flops, right? So what do we do to fix that? We remove some flip-flops and then we apply the great tool and then it works, okay? And that's what I mean when I say that you can't use the Simplified Planner without a real commitment to living a life that is simpler. If you're buying this planner and you really want it to work for you, it's so important for you to come at it, the usage of it, with this mindset that I'm going to clear some clutter, right? If you are living your life with your hair on fire and things feel really, really overwhelming and you're like, you don't even know where to start, the first thing you need to do is stop, okay? And I talk about my faith a lot. It's an important part of who I am. And my favorite verse of the Bible is Psalm 4610, and it's be still and know that I am God. And the most important part of that, I really feel like the, the know that I am God part is very important, obviously. But the be still part is something that has been hard for me at times in my life to swallow. Like, be still, Emily. Um, okay. Be still and calm down. And make sure that you are looking around and taking inventory at what is actually going on, right? So making sure that you just sit and evaluate. Sometimes that's the best thing we can do when life gets overwhelming. Just sit and evaluate what's going on. I hit a brick wall in October of last year after being on 48 airplanes in 2016 and being completely overcommitted in my life. And what I did when that happened is I first... I just sat still. I took, a, I took a day off work and I remember laying on the floor upstairs and listening to an, audio, an audiobook in my headphones and just trying to like calm my mind, calm my body down, being still in all the senses of the phrase so that I could just take a look at what was happening around me. And what I saw happening around me was too much of everything, right? All wonderful things, right? I have I have toddler twins, I have a six-year-old, I have a business that's growing, I had written a book, like great things. My life was great, but it was a lot of all the great things. It was just everything was just too much. And my one little person, human heart, just couldn't handle it all. Um, sorry, I'm trying to like keep up with what things are saying and then there's texts coming and then it's like, whoa, again, too many things. So. What I did, and my first recommendation to you, if you're feeling like you're in that place, is to sit down with a poster board, okay? Get a really large piece of paper and a Sharpie. Um, I say Sharpie better than any other pen because I feel like it's permanent, it's big, it's bold. Sit down and write out 
all the things you're committed to. Write out all the things that are overwhelming you. Um, I like to call this a brain dump. Just clear your head and put it all down so that you can take a look at all the things that are going on in your brain. And I promise you, when you do that, you'll say, no wonder I feel overwhelmed or overworked or overcommitted, because look at all this. The next step is to decide, okay, if I, if, are, are there certain things in my life that are non-negotiable that I'm committed to? Like, obviously, I'm committed to working to provide a paycheck. <laughs> so that I can't make go away, right? So there's one of those, so highlight it. There's something I can't say no to. Um, I am committed, I personally like to always be the person to drop my kids off at school. Um, obviously that doesn't always work out and I have to trade with people, but whatever. Uh, that's one of my non-negotiables. So I write that down, like that's important to me, I wanna make sure that always happens. Do you hear this? This is my twins. Every single Facebook Live this week has been during nap time and they're like, uh, it's lunch week, we're gonna play. So, we're good. Okay, so looking at things that are non-negotiable, what are the things in your life that you absolutely cannot let fall? My friend Rachel Shingleton, um, it's pencil shavings over on Instagram, she said once that if you think about juggling, like all the things that we're juggling, right, there's times where we have to let the balls fall. Some of the balls have to fall down. But what's the one thing you can never let go of? And your answer might be different than mine, and that's totally fine. Um, you might be in a different place in your life than me, but I can say for me, I cannot let the family part fall, ever. I will let this business fall, I will let the laundry fall, I'll let all the other things fall before I let the family piece fall. That's the piece I never, ever, ever, ever want to let fall. So that's my non-negotiable, writing that down and saying this is what I'm committed to. When we do that, that becomes our standard. So we talk about a standard of grace, not perfection, right? For our family, my husband and I had to sit down and say like, what's the standard? What is what we're working toward? You know, um, obviously we had like all these good things coming at us and they were wonderful, but like what's the standard? What's the life that we want to have? And I also asked myself something I mentioned in an earlier Facebook Live. What is good enough? Okay? And I realize that sounds weird, but like what, when is enough enough? What is good enough? And, and for my own personal life, does that look like you know, our business is a gazillion dollar business and we're selling planners all over the world and we're in a thousand stores and our name in lights. Is that what I'm after? Is that good enough for me? And the answer for us was no, that's not what we're after. And so we took a look at our life and said, what is it we're after? We're after building a family that's connected. We're after building, creating a home that feels like a place of respite, of rest, connection. Um, that word connection kept coming up for us. Um, we want to build a marriage that is a safe haven from the rest of the world. Um, and we want to build a company that deeply touches women um, in whatever season of life that, that they're in. Okay? And so what that meant for us when we went and looked at all the things I was committed to, it meant that I was going to drop some balls. And what was that going to be? And for us, it was dropping our wholesale program. So we were in 800 stores around the world and we dropped all of them except for five. Um, we, dropped, we kept our five major retailers and we dropped 795. There were people that were very disappointed in me. There were people that were very angry with me. There were people that were very sad. Um, but there were four people in my life that were thrilled that I had made that decision, that we had made that decision together. So I realized walking away from a wholesale program isn't the solution or problem in many other people's lives. But if you take a look at your life, no matter what it is that you're doing, whether you're married, you have kids, or you don't, if you take a look at your life and say, what is it that I can step back from? And maybe not permanently. I didn't walk away from wholesale permanently. I don't think that that program in general is bad. In fact, it was great. Um, but maybe during this season of my life, that's a way I can declutter. Clutter doesn't always look like trash. Clutter sometimes look like, looks like wonderful things. And sometimes we just have to take a step back and say, you know what, not now. Because this has to be for me right now. The other question I think it's important to ask yourself is the same thing we asked ourselves. Um, is it okay to be medium? Is it okay to be medium? Do I have to be in a, always in a season of small, of growing, or of like biggest and best? Do I always have to be large? Or do I have to be chasing large? Um, I 
I really like being medium. <laughs> in our company, we run a small business with six employees, including myself, um, and we run the entire thing online. I travel a little bit for my books right now, but other than that, like that's it. The six of us, our team, we've actually never all met in person at the same time. I've met all of them in person, but we've never all six been in the same room because traveling, again, was one of those things that I've had to let drop a little bit. So is it okay to be medium? And I think the answer is yes. And I would challenge you to say, medium is cool too. Like if your life feels medium right now, if you feel like you're not you know, living up to what other people are doing or someone else's expectations of you or you know, whatever standard the world has set for, uh, for you, that's okay. Like maybe medium is great. And I've had a lot of people also ask me on these Facebook Lives, which have been awesome, by the way. I've loved like connecting. There's a connect word again. I've loved connecting with you guys this way because I feel like I've learned a lot more about our customers and our community. And um, I've had a lot of people say to me, Emily, I'm in this season of, you know, I have a two-year-old and a six-week-old and like it's insane. Like life is actually insane. Um, like what do I do? How do I organize my life? Like how do I handle laundry? How do I handle meal planning? How do I manage our days? Um, how do I get on top? Like help me get on top of these things. And my answer to them is remember it's cool to be medium. Like remember that this may be the season of your life where you need to listen to your heart and your body. And I say your body because, man, when you're pregnant, your body speaks, right? So let me tell you a story about when Brady was three and a half and I was pregnant with twins. Being pregnant with twins is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It's harder than birthing twins. It's harder than being a mother to three children. Um, carrying 13 pounds of baby in my five foot, 130 pound body was hard. And I have this like innate thing in me that wants my life to look and be perfect. I want the laundry to be perfectly done every day. I want the meals to be wholesome and cooked and ready when everyone gets home from school. I want you all to know my life is really easy. It's not. And during that time in my life, it was a circus. And I remember sitting on the couch with Brady every afternoon and Brady would come home and he, he would come home from school and he would be so excited to like have his time with me. and and. You know, all I could think was, I'm so tired, I'm about to die. And I would sit on the couch with him, and I have very vivid memories of hugging, like with my arms around him while we're snuggled on the couch, and he's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for like the third time that day, and I would sleep. And I would have my two babies in my belly and my biggest baby in my arms, and we would watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and I can remember thinking there is no other place or other thing in the world right now I want to be doing than listening to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and holding these three babies. And the laundry mounted and the meal planning went to who knows where. And we ate Chipotle like four times every week and I didn't even care. Now, I take that back. I cared a lot. I carried a lot of mommy guilt for that because I felt like it was my last few moments with my son and I needed to be doing all these other things, you know, like with an only child. And I didn't. And I look back at that and I'm like, a, I'm glad I listened because I kept twins in until 36 weeks one day. Thank you very much. Um, B, I'm also glad I did that because their cherished memories, even though they weren't big and fantastic, they were very medium and they were great. Um, and so if you're in a season where your body and your heart are telling you to slow down, that's because that's what you need to be doing right now. And that's okay. Um, so I hope that that's encouraging to you. If you feel like your life needs to look completely different right now, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't need to look completely different. Maybe where you are is right where you need to be. Um, so I don't want to fool anyone by saying you should always be chasing after this simple life um, or this put together life or this perfectly organized life because it's just not realistic. And I mean, my life's not always like that easier e either. So simplicity plan, back to your poster board. So you've written out all the things that you are committed to and you've identified some things that you can let go of, even if they're good, right? Um, maybe you've identified some places you may need help with. Maybe there's a friend that could help you. Maybe there is um, 
Thanks, Whitney. Uh, maybe there is a um, friend that can say trade babysitting with, you, that you can trade babysitting with. Maybe there is a way that you can alleviate those mundane tasks. Like maybe there's laundry is killing you and you've tried my whole like laundry every day trick and you're still like, it's so overwhelming. Is there a way that you can turn that on its head? Maybe you can put headphones in and you can listen to your audio book or your podcast or whatever while you're doing it so that it can be a time of replenishment rather than a time that just feels draining, right? Um, my husband makes fun of me. I listen to audio books while I dry my hair because I hate drying my hair, which is why I don't wash it, but every like four days. Um, and I put my headphones in and I listen to my books. I, le I listen to a lot of fiction books on Audible because it's like a good brain break. And I dry my hair. I was doing it this morning. I wash my hair for you, thank you. And he was like, it's so funny to me that you do that. And I was like, well, I hate it. I hate drying my hair. It's so boring. It feels like such a waste of time. It takes forever because I have so much hair. Um, so why not, you know, make it a little nicer? Who says you can't wear headphones when you dry your hair? Um, and I, <laughs> maybe that's why I didn't survive in corporate America because I just tend to say who says a lot. Um, like who says we have to live our lives a certain way? Who says you can't eat peanut butter and jelly for dinner? My kids love peanut butter and jelly. Now, I will say they love avocado toast better than peanut butter and jelly, and I'm not sure what that says of me as a mother. Um, but there are nights that that's what we do, and that's fine. Every Friday, we order pizza, and we sit on the floor, and my kids think it's awesome because it's like a tradition, and I think it's awesome because I don't have to cook. So this is me giving you permission to be medium and to sit in the season you're in. I'm gonna post a link here a little bit later to some pages that are being added to the Simplified Planner next year. So not the ones that go on sale tomorrow, but next year. We're calling it Simplified Planner Prep Work, and it's just a couple of pages to walk you through the process of getting your brain and your life a little more organized. And it talks a lot about you know choosing what to say yes and no to. It talks a lot about what to, um, how to implement some really good routines and healthy habits. Um, I will say that I have changed my life this year by finally deciding to take care of myself the way that I take care of my children and the way that I take care of my work. I always put myself last and um, it, I paid the price with my health. So exercising, eating food that fuels me, that's good for me, it took a lot of breaking a lot of really bad habits and letting go of a lot of vices, I will say that. Um, and it wasn't easy. Um, giving up my time to go exercise for a long time felt like cutting off my right arm because the one thing I don't have a lot of is time. And um, doing that this year and giving myself permission to schedule time for me, just like scheduling time for a conference call or something like that has been so freeing, so freeing. So I hope that that's encouraging. Um, I will post the link to the Simplified Planner prep work, but I really believe the, the process to creating a simplicity plan starts with decluttering. So take a look at your home. Physical clutter is mental clutter, and I will attest to that time and time again. If there's physical clutter around me in my house, or in my office, or on my desk, I can't think, because all I think about is all the things that need to be put away. Or I look over at, you know, a pile of laundry and I think that's calling my attention. All that paperwork from the mailbox is calling my attention. Everything's calling my attention. So decluttering our homes, putting things away, making sure everything has a place is huge. I spent a week earlier this year researching my new book, which I'll tell you about October 4th. Um, and my research project for the new book was decluttering my own house. So I keep things pretty simple and organized around here, but I decided to take a whole week off work and just dig in. And y'all, I mean, I haven't gotten into my husband's stuff. Now, I didn't get rid of anything without his permission, but he got on board. And it was life-changing. Just the process of going through everything and letting go of stuff that had some sort of like mental hold on me or whatever was so, so, so good. So take a look at your surroundings, your physical stuff. Also, your, um, your calendar. If you have things on your calendar that you're committed to that you can say no to, say no. Who cares? I mean, sure, you might disappoint some people or some people might be mad, but there will be a time and a season for that later. And then the last part is to take a look at your heart. Are there things you need to deal with? 
Are there things you need to bury the hatchet on? Um, things you need to go ahead and put away. That Doing those things will absolutely make changes in all the rest of the areas of your life and will make this process of simplifying so much easier. So I think that's it. That's all I have for this simplicity plan. We're giving you um, a printable that we sent out yesterday that has a lot of different lines on it that you can put some action items on. Um, just some ideas for those action items would be to spend an afternoon decluttering your house. Walk around with a trash bag or a donate bag um, and pick up things that you can remove. Um, white space is so valuable. And when I say white space, I mean margin. If we have margin in our homes, margin in our lives, it gives us time to breathe and it gives us the space to be, honestly. Um, okay, do you guys have any questions at all? This was fun and I feel like this is one of my favorite Facebook Lives because this topic in particular means so much to me. Um, I really, really, really believe that hitting a brick wall like that can be an enormous blessing because it gives you the permission to start over. And we all get the chance to start over. You know, We're all given a fresh day, day after day, um, a clean slate. And whether you have a weekly or a daily, every time you turn that page, you get a chance to start over and make a mess again and then start over. Okay, so nitty gritty about tomorrow. This is our last Facebook Live before we go live, live. And I have a couple things to share. Number one, um, if you are recovering from Hurricane Harvey, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, we have a giant fan base in Texas, and I just want all of you in Texas to know we love you and we're thinking about you. If you're in Florida, like I am, um, we are praying and thinking about you with this oncoming hurricane. Um, my family will likely be evacuating after our launch. So we, um, we are thinking about and praying for you too. There's more storms in, in down there that are keeping on coming. So um, we're just going to keep thinking and praying. We have a, a printable up in our shop where you can donate to the Houston Food Bank. We've changed the organization we're donating to so that we can spread the love. Um, we raised $14,840 for the Texas Diaper Bank because you guys are incredible and you have enormous hearts and I can't, I'm just in awe of the way you showed up and made me so proud to be part of this. Um, so if you're purchasing a planner tomorrow, you can find that product and add it to your cart and check out with it and 100% of what you donate to that printable um, will go straight to the Houston Food Bank. Okay, so just to run through what we're launching tomorrow. We have, I did a Facebook Live earlier for the Wild for Planners group on uh, Facebook, so all my stuff is all over my office, but this is your daily edition. This is the one that I am using. Um, and inside it, you have one day per page and shared weekend pages. This is, it's in black and white because it kills me to write in actual planners. This is a sample. <laughs> So this, you have your schedule, to-do list, meals, and notes. And this is just an example of color coding. Um, we also have weekly editions. So let me pull that out. This one is the Fancy Floral Weekly. These sold out in days last time. Um, so be sure and grab yours tomorrow if you want one. It has a pocket inside that comes with stickers. All the editions come with stickers. Um, and then you have your monthly pages and you have your weekly pages. If you guys will check your inboxes at 2 p.m. today, you will see, um, I'm trying to find my weekly that has the mock-ups in it. If you check your inboxes at 2 p.m. today, you will see that we sent you, um, we're gonna send you a monthly page printable, and that is uh, blank and ready for you to use however you like. Here is the mock-up pages in a weekly. Okay, so you can kind of see how we color coded. We will have bundles tomorrow that you can choose from. We are going to do that. The bundles are for accessories. We are also going to have free shipping if you're in the U.S. for orders over $100. Yay! Okay, don't let me forget to do the giveaway. I forget every single day. Okay, uh, Hannah, did you grab any questions by chance? Do the mini notebooks fit in the weeklies? Yes, they do. Do we have one over there? I keep meaning to show it and then I keep forgetting to put it in my little cart here.
Okay. Yay. 10 a.m. Eastern time. Yes. So I, the pens I use, I love the Precise V5 from Pilot. I used Le Pens for a long time until I discovered those. Thanks. Here's our mini notebooks, okay? These are just very simple little gold foil notebooks that fit in the front pocket of your um, planner. Hold on, turn the light up a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, can you talk about the accessories bundles? Oh, somebody wants me to talk about the accessories bundles. This is the one I keep getting asked and I don't know the answer to. Um, okay, we have accessory bundles and I'm gonna read them out of my brain and it might be wrong. But they will be live on our site later today. They'll say coming soon, but you can go and look at them later. I promise to post when they're live. Um, there's a $42 bundle of gold accessories that includes a gold dot page marker, a gold dot pen, and a gold ruler. I got that one. There is a $32 bundle that has something in it and a $22 bundle that has something else. <laughs> one of them is stickers and mini notebooks and one of them is page markers and paper clips. So you will see all of those. Okay. How do you recommend juggling when you don't really have any balls that you can drop? I just saw that one. Um, how do you recommend juggling life when you can't drop any of the balls in the air? I've been there too. Um, how do I recommend juggling? Well, I think you, even if you can't drop any of the balls, which is many of us a lot, um, I think you have to prioritize what your, prior, what your balls are, right? So which one is most important? Which one is least important, but still important? And then can you prioritize your day in that you make sure most of it gets done? I think what, I think what you also have to do there is you have to prioritize yourself. If you have a lot of balls in the air, it feels weird to add another ball in the air. Um, but it's critical to add yourself. I talk in Grace Not Perfection about thinking of yourself as a well. And if you're constantly pouring out on other people and loving on other people and taking care of friends or family or children or parents or whatever, if you are filling yourself with negative self-talk and comparison and exhaustion and bad food and like, lots of television and whatever. Um, if you're filling your heart with that, you're not gonna pour out good things. Do you make sense? Does that make sense? If you're filling your heart with rest and water and healthy food and, and just treating yourself and like can, talking good talk in your brain, if you're doing that, you're gonna pour out sweet water. Okay, so I hope that helps. All right. Are the mini notebooks different than May Designs? I wish you guys could see this setup we have here. We have like this circle light, and I am like looking at Hannah through the donut. Uh, the mini notebooks are different than May Designs, yes. My friend Micah May, oh yeah, let me see those. My friend Micah May uh, owns a company called May Designs that you have probably heard of before, and she makes May books, and we have a partnership that I love with them. And they sell these adorable little mini notebooks that you can personalize. They're not mini notebooks, I'm sorry. May books. Uh, they have a big size, this size, and a mini. Cute, right? The mini fits the weekly, and the regular ones fit the, um, the uh, dailies. And you can personalize them. And they're different than our mini notebooks because they're smaller, thinner. Our mini notebooks are thinner. Um, than those, but they, I think they have like 20 something pages inside. You see? There you go. Okay. Um, the pineapples not stick out from the top of the, like, the, the paper clip? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, somebody asked, do the pineapples stick out like page markers if you use them that way? Yes, they do. Well, mine's like crooked because I played with it, but yes, they can be used as page markers. Um, our website is emilylay.com, E-M-I-L-Y-L-E-Y.com. Do you hear these crazies upstairs? Y'all. <laughs> what a zoo. All right. Anybody else got any other questions? Um, cute mugs. What cute mugs? Do I have cute mugs behind me somewhere? No? Let me know which ones you're talking about. Unless you're talking about the Launch Day Survival Kit, and that's Lindsay Letters. 
Um, I mentioned in an Instagram story that next year's dailies will have notes pages. Yes, next year's dailies will have just a few notes pages. How much is shipping in the US? Um, our warehouse is in Pennsylvania. And so if you are around Pennsylvania and you order one planner, it'll be like six to seven dollars ish. Depends on what you order and where you are. But um, if you're in California, it'll be like 10 to 13 at the most dollars. Um, I hate shipping costs just like you do. Um, we don't charge any handling. We actually pay handling fees, but we just pay it out of our pocket so you don't have to. Um, we don't upcharge at all. So I know it is a lot. Okay. Let's see if I got any more. <clears throat> How long does a sticker pack last? Uh, how long do the sticker packs last? Like if you use them? Um, it depends on how fast you use them, how long do the sticker packs last, but they have a ton of stickers in them. So this is our new one we're launching tomorrow. And these are our little doodles that come inside our planners. Um, these are hand drawn by our very own Whitney Hawkins. And this comes with four sheets like this. And it's $10, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then we're also launching tomorrow our page markers. Well, here's three. I keep opening them and using them. So here's, oh, yeah, floral. Um, there's one for every cover. Okay, we have anything else? Tips for deciding between the daily and weekly. Okay, tips for deciding between the daily and the weekly. If you go to the link in the caption of this Facebook Live, there is a quiz. And it will ask you questions about your lifestyle, your personal style, the way you like to plan. Um, sorry for my hand all up in this, but I'm getting emails. Go! Okay. Um, they will all be, uh, what was I just talking about? I just lost my train of thought. Our web designer wrote me. Choosing the daily or weekly. Go to the link in the caption. Y'all, my brain hurts. For real. Are you tired of my voice yet? <laughs> Go to uh, the link in the caption and there's a quiz and you can take it and I'll tell you which one is best for you, um, daily versus weekly, and also which cover fits your style. Look at my hair. It's doing weird things over here. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else? What is the printout everyone is talking about? I came in late and must have missed it. Um, if you're on our email newsletter list, it'll show up in your inbox at 2 today. Yay! And it's just a, this today's is a monthly pen, uh, printable. Yesterday's was a simplicity plan. So if you got yesterday's, check your spam also, because spam likes to eat my name for some reason. Um, Lindsay Letters was who made the mugs in our Launch Day Survival Kits. Etsy Monogram Store is Monogram It Darling. Um, do you hear this? All right, UPS is here. They're ringing something. Okay. Uh, can you show us the non-spiral planner? Yes. This is the weekly, it has a little ribbon here. These are the weekly editions, and fair warning, these are going to go so fast. So if you want one, get it. If we sell out of these, we're hoping to get more in before the end of the year, okay? But be ready. Cancel all your meetings tomorrow. Shut all the blinds. Get your coffee ready. It's launch day. It's like the Lily after party sale, or Taylor Swift tickets. Or Harry Potter coming out. Those are the things we've heard this compared to, and it makes me so happy. Where's my dress from? Yeah. Lily. After party sale. I, like when that after party sale starts, I'm like, oh my gosh. We like cancel all our team meetings for that day, and we're all like, okay, what'd you get? What'd you get? So fun. Um, would you ever consider making a tutorial about finding one's personal style or signature style? Yes. Um, go to elplaybook.com. There is a master class over there called the well-loved brand, and I talk a lot about finding a style for a brand. If you're talking about personal style in terms of like your personal style, there is a chapter in my new book about that. That's like the most detailed thing I've said about the new book. Uh, I'll tell you more on October 4th when I get to spell all the beans, but um, yes, I, I really enjoyed writing that chapter. Okie dokie. Uh, advice for couples simplicity planning and simplicity newlyweds planning. Advice you wish you'd heard at the time. Um, given more. If you're trying to find routines that work for you and your new husband or wife or whomever, um, I would just 
not hold on to your own so strong. Uh, Brian and I have found what works best for us, but me and my like OCD organized ways are very different than his. He would be totally fine folding a mountain of laundry every Sunday. And he was actually doing the folding because he's kind of good at it. Um, so we're very different and we've had to meet in the middle in a lot of places. So just be willing to let go a little bit, have a lot of grace, you know, especially if they're totally doing it wrong, which is what my husband wanted to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, how much is shipping to Kansas? Not totally sure, but it's somewhere between $6 and $13. But if you order over $100, it's free. And trust me, there's lots of accessories. Um, okay, did I get everything? I think. Uh, is free shipping just for planners tomorrow? Can I purchase a baby book to get free shipping? Yeah, you totally can. It's, it's on any, any orders tomorrow. Only tomorrow, so it ends at midnight tomorrow, but free shipping over $100. Uh, what did I use to do my hair today? It's amazing, thanks. Well, I've curled it twice because Florida humidity, it took my kids to school and it was like, wah, wah. Um, I use a wand, it's like a $20 wand from Target and some hairspray, that's it. Um, and this is like the only time this year you'll see my hair look like this because typically it's in a ponytail. Okay, can you show what the page markers look like in the daily please? Yes, if I can find a daily. Um, here is the happy stripe. Okay, again, this is in black and white because this is my sample because I didn't want to write in a real planner. Um, page markers. Okie dokie. Anything else I missed, Hannah, that you saw? Does Dapper Desk come out tomorrow too? Yes, so tomorrow, here's what comes out. Four new daily planners, four new weekly planners, Dapper Desk planner. We don't have a lot of those. Um, page, four new page markers. The doodle sticker sets. This is amazing. Like they are like, we are not taking it out. Um, the pink baby book already came out. Did I get everything? Oh, gold dot boxes. So you see these fun boxes in my office over this way? Mm -hmm. These guys? Um, we have gold dot versions of those and the memory boxes that coming out tomorrow. Okie dokie. I think that's everything. Uh, when does the giveaway close? So the launch day survival kit is something I create for my whole team every launch day because launch day is insane. And it's something that we've worked to award for a long time. Um, we will all be on live chat tomorrow, by the way. So come and chat with us. I'll be on live chat on our website, like helping you with your questions or whatever. Um, but before we hit go on launching these puppies, um, we, I'm going to choose someone randomly to win our launch day survival kit. And I made an extra, I made one for every girl on my team and then I made an extra one for somebody. And it includes um, Bernie's slippers, a choice of your planner, um, Lindsay Letters mug, Marley Lily's monogram scarf, and Sugarfina gummies, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Super fun. You can enter at the link in my Instagram profile. Um, but if you look around on our Facebook page, the link is on there too, and I'll add it to this caption here in just a couple of minutes. Um, how do you add items to your Simplify Planner when on the go? I take mine with me a lot, but I also leave it here a lot. It just depends. If I'm traveling, I take it with me and I just write it in. If, I'm, if I don't have it with me, I'll just write it in the Notes app on my phone and then add things in. Um, oh, if the link isn't working, I'll fix it. It's fussy. Um, where do you keep your power sheets folded and paper clipped into the planner, a binder, or a folder? Power sheets are actually bound in a spiral bound, so I keep mine in the office. My office. Mine are over here. I just can't see them. They're like in a little box thing. Um, what do you suggest for a case for the daily? Um, I don't really think you need a case. Um, I don't know of a case that fits it. But the binding holds up really well. Um, the binding and the paper have always been my big concern in terms of quality, like making sure that they're sturdy. I mean, you're gonna use this thing for 12 months, so it need to be awesome. Um, and the binding, anybody can attest. It's like super, super sturdy. It's not gonna like bend all over the place and be weird. It's not gonna catch on things. And then the, um, uh, the paper is Mohawk Via Vellum, and it's the same paper I used when I made wedding invitations, just not cardstock. So it's really, really great. Oh my gosh, they're like doing somersaults. Oh, okay. I think we fixed the link for you guys. All right. Monogramming free on launch day. We cut our monogramming program 
because we don't like to do things we're not good at and we weren't very good at monogramming because the machine was a monster to be honest with you um, we were having some planners get monogrammed and go out and the monogram was crooked and then the whole planner was ruined and it was just a big pain and so we decided to let the monogramming people be good at monogramming and we'll sell planners <laughs> um, so monogram at darling on etsy makes really cute monograms they're super affordable and they're so cute and they stick on their stickers and they stick on really well and you can get tons of different options including Ones like the kind we used to have. So check her out. She's great. Um, all right. Just making sure I got everybody. What, what are they doing? Do you guys hear it? It's awesome. I'm going to have to go up there in a second. Uh, okay. I think I got all your questions. If I didn't, come and join me on Instagram Live at 3. And it'll be a little more informal. And I'll just be answering questions about last day. Um, we are stoked and so excited and can't wait for tomorrow. So don't forget to join us tomorrow at 9.45 in the morning. You can watch me bite my nails for 15 minutes. And then um, at 3 tomorrow, ooh, maybe not. We might be evacuating the storm. So we're going to try to share some like behind the scenes um, statistics on like which planner is doing best and which state's getting those planners and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'll get on Instagram Live at some point in the next few days and do that. It just may not be tomorrow afternoon because I might be in a car. Okay. Thanks guys. Have a great rest of your day. If you have any more questions, come over to Instagram a little bit later. Bye. No, no, no. Give away. <laughs> not buy. Give away. Okay. I am going to give away. Oh dear. We might need to go over there. <laughs> Are they okay? They're like singing twinkle, twinkle little star and opening the window. Okay. Anybody have advice for keeping toddlers in their beds? Because I don't. Um, okay, we are going to give away a planner and a copy of Grace Not Perfection. So what I need you to do if you win is to email me, tell me what planner you want and what your shipping address is, and I will send it to you uh, today. Okay? So I'm just going to... Hold on. I'm trying, not to... I'm trying to make sure I don't hang up on y'all. Okay. Ready? Becca Collins. You win. Send me a note, emily at emilylay.com. Let me know which planner you would like, and I will include a copy of my book also. And I hope that you love it. Okay, now I'm really going. See you guys at three.